Welcome to the Ohio Hauling Permit System, also known as OHPS, User Tutorial Videos. This video will guide you through the features available within the insurance portal in OHPS at haulingpermits.transportation.ohio.gov. This and other tutorial videos can be found on the login page via the OHPS User Tutorial Videos link. After logging into the system, the Insurance Portal dashboard will be displayed. The Insurance Portal dashboard is broken down into four main parts. OHPS Navigation Bar, Insurance Portal Navigation Bar, Insurance Records Panel, and Company User Panel. The bar across the top of the Insurance Portal dashboard is called the OHPS Navigation Bar. This navigation bar contains the Home, Help, and Log Out buttons. The Home button at the top of the screen will always bring you back to the Insurance Portal dashboard from anywhere throughout the system. The Help button at the top of the screen will display help information for the page you are on in OHPS. The bar directly below the OHPS navigation bar is called the Insurance Portal Navigation Bar. Users can access the Search Customer for Insurance screen, as well as set the configuration for an insurance renewal notification. The Insurance Records panel on the Insurance Portal dashboard is the central location of the insurance company's business within OHPS. From the Insurance Records panel, users can enter a new insurance record or view existing insurance records. Users can see all information for any insurance record entered by their insurance company, including the policy number, the hauling company's name, the status of the insurance record, and the expiration date. There is a separate video located on the login page with further detail on managing insurance records, including how to enter a new insurance record or enter a cancellation for an existing insurance record. Additionally, insurance company users can view a hauling company's company data and have the ability to make changes to the company name and DBA. Per ODOT permitting rules, the company name listed on the OS32 form must match the company name in OHPS. To update a hauling company's name, click the hyperlink that is the company name in the Insurance Records panel. The Company Management Portal will be displayed. In the Company or DBA fields, make the necessary changes. Click the Update button to save the changes, or click the Cancel button to exit the Company Management Portal without saving changes. The Insurance Portal dashboard will be displayed. To the right of the Insurance Records panel is the Company Users panel, which displays all of the users associated to the insurance company. Administrative insurance users can add new insurance company users or edit existing users. To add a new insurance company user, click the Add New User link. The User Management Portal screen will now be displayed. Enter all known information for the new user in the required fields. Please note the User Type drop-down list. The two user levels are Administrator or IC User. All company accounts must have at least one Administrator user. IC users cannot make any edits to user information. The user who created the insurance company account will be defaulted into an administrator user. Click the Insert button to add new user. The Insurance Portal dashboard will be displayed. The new user will be listed in the Company User panel. To edit an existing user, click the Edit button in the Company User panel. The User Management Portal screen will be displayed. Edit the applicable information and click the Update button to save any changes. The Insurance Portal dashboard will be displayed. This concludes the OHPS user tutorial video on navigating the OHPS insurance portal. Thanks for watching, and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.